the oil leaking up. Arizona's still bleeding. Um, from the house of 4160 Tuesdays and I guess the whole this one is the sexiest scent on the planet ever in my humble opinion <laughs> you gotta love the name right and I guess the 4160 Tuesdays is if you live till 80 that's how many Tuesdays that you'll live through or something like that anyway um, this is kind of an indie scent, I guess. Uh, you do find it on indie scents, and I think you can find it at Lucky Scent now. Um, but this one is totally unisex. Um, it was launched in 2013 by Sarah McCartney, is the nose. The notes are bergamot, vanilla, woody notes, and musk. And I will kiss my own butt if there isn't some ISO E Super in this as well. Um, what I completely get is a sweeter, fruitier version of Molecule 01. But this one lasts. Um, it doesn't do that in and out kind of thing like Molecule 01 does. This one has great performance. Um, it's almost beast mode. It's heavy sillage. Um, lasts a long time. I'm, I'm very impressed with this perfume. I've only tried this one out of the line thus far, but I've got some samples ordered. So I'm very excited to see more from this house. Um, uh, like I said, I totally get that sandalwood kind of a, a, a note in there, sandalwood cedary kind of note like ISO E Super has. But this, like I said, I like this better and I love Molecule 01. But this one is just a sweeter, almost fruity, that, that fruity kind of sweet version of Molecule 01. Mad compliments. Everybody loves it and especially around here it's a huge hit and I think it's totally appropriate for any kind of weather climate. I think uh, that it would be good for any kind of occasion, day or night. I don't think it'd ever be offensive enough not to be able to wear to work. I wouldn't wear it to work out just because it's too nice. Um, I usually tend to wear my citrusy kind of perfumes for working out. And uh, But this one, Fireside Triss, Going out, clubbing, dinner, I think this would rock for any of those occasions. I'm just in love with this perfume. Um, it is definitely going on my desert island list. I'm completely in love with it. So, and like I said, it's it's not in and out like Molecule 01. It, it has a nice steady sillage that gives you a good, I'd say, two, three feet of sillage. And it lasts me to the next day. I could smell it on my skin. So... How can I complain over that? Price is actually really good. I have a feeling the prices on these will go up the more popular they get. So I would get your hands on a bottle now while the prices are under $100. Because um, I don't think it's going to stay that way for long. So um, anyway, I guess that's about all I can say about this perfume other than please check it out. <laughs> I love this stuff. If you like Molecule 01, you'll like this. If you love Molecule 01, you'll probably love this. So, and again, unisex, totally. So, uh, that's it. It's the sexiest perfume on the planet ever, in my humble opinion, by 4162 Stays. All right, there's another quickie. Peace. First part. Um, um, oh, I got an itch. Oh, shit. Oh, save the bottle. Oh.